Hello everyone, this is my 2005 Kia Rio and today we're going to put spark plugs and spark plug wires in this car. It's been running rough and uh, my mechanic says one of the cylinders is misfiring so we're going to give it a tune up and see if that helps. Alright, the first step is we have to take this cover off the top of the engine. On this cover there are four bolts here in the back one on this side and in the front. These are 10 millimeter bolts and we'll take those off and see what's underneath. Now that we have the cover off you can see here's where the spark plugs are. Right here on top. This is where the wires attach to the plugs which are down inside the block here. These are the wires and they attach here. We're going we're gonna to replace all these wires and the spark plugs down inside. Okay, the first thing I did was I labeled these, we can't really see it too well, with a sharpie. One, two, three, and four. And then I labeled, I know they're not in order by spark plugs or anything, I'm just labeling left to right so I know which one goes where. And then over here I labeled from top to bottom, one, two, three, four. That way I can line them up and know which cable goes where later on the new ones. Now these just pull off, off the top, like that. You just pull it out, and that's the end of the wire there. And down inside the hole is the spark plug, way down in there. And if you don't have a spark plug socket, which I don't, I have a 5 8 inch socket which will fit, but it doesn't have the little rubber thing inside. Uh, my husband came up with a great tip for how to get that out of there. And that is, you unscrew it down in there with your socket. Then you put your, your connector back down in there until it grabs the top of the spark plug. Then when you pull it out, there it is. Spark plug extracted. Alright, to show you what I was talking about with extracting the spark plug, down in there I just loosened the spark plug up. It's loose down in there, but I can't reach in and get it out. So what I do is I take this end of this cable, put it down the hole until it grabs the end of the spark plug, and then pull it out. And now your spark plug is extracted. Easy peasy. Alright, I wanted to show you this. I've got three of the plugs pulled out. This is the last one. I want to show you what I discovered when I pulled this out. This one is covered in oil. And down in the hole there's a puddle of oil too. So it looks like we're looking at more than just a spark plug replacement. What that is yet, I don't know, but we'll keep you up to date. All right, after some discussion and looking around down here, what we think happened is when I had the oil change last, the guy sprayed oil up on top of here and it probably just dripped down into there because all of the cylinders are showing a little bit of oil in there. And there was quite a bit up on top here too. So we think it just dripped down in there and there's actually nothing really wrong with the engine. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the plugs and the wires and see how it goes. All right, now we have the new wires on. Basically, you want to go, the shortest wire obviously goes on this side, and the longest one on this side. So, on this side, put them back on here. I took one off, I took them off one at a time, and I matched them up with each one, so I'd know which one goes where. And here they are, ready to go in. Now, the next thing we have to do is gap the spark plugs, to make sure they're properly set. And we'll go over that next. Alright, this is, we've got the new spark plug here, we're going to put the first one in. And before we put it in, we want to check this gap. Can you focus on that? We want to make sure this gap is set to the right distance. They come pre-gapped, a lot of them, but since these fit a lot of different cars, we want to make sure we have the right one for our car. And you use this. This is a spark plug gapping tool. It's got different width around the rim to help you set the gap on your spark plug. Now I know on this one I'm supposed to have .043, which is roughly here. So I stick this inside the gap, and I can see it's set just about right. So we'll put this in there now. Okay, uh, we had to wait for a plane to go by, so here we go. What we're going to do to put these in here, because it goes way down in that hole, is we're going to reverse the process that we used to take it out. We'll stick this right in the end here, and that will hold on to it. Stick it down in the hole. And we'll give it a, a little turn to get the threads to go in. And we should be able to pull it right off. And now it's down in the hole and we can tighten it. 
All right, the spark plug is down in there. I'm going to put my socket down in there. Attach it and tighten it up a little bit. When you feel it get tight, you give it, I don't have a torque wrench, so we're going to give it about another half a turn. You feel it snug up. This is the one that had all the oil in it, so it's still moving. So we'll keep, there it is. All right, and now it's in there. All right, I wanted to mention something. On the first spark plug you saw me do, it looked like this. But these spark plugs do come with a ring, like this. And I forgot to put the first one on there. I did take it back apart and put the ring on. But these rings come in the box. Sometimes they should be on the spark plug, but these came loose, so you just... These just screw on here, and these are like a little washer to help seal it in place once it's in there. And we're going to do this last cylinder so you can see the whole process. It's already been gapped. And we're using an old one of the old wires as the tool to put this back in there. So we'll just pop that on the end, down in the hole. We'll give it a couple of turns to get the threads to, to take, and pop this off. And now it's down in the hole, and we just tighten it up. And then we just take our wire. Make sure it goes back in the little clips where it was, pop it down in the hole, make sure it firmly seats on the spark plug. And we're good to go. Next we'll put the cover back on. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We have the cover back on. We're going to start it up and see if it runs any better. And then uh, Dave's going to take the camera on to the back side to see if any of that oil comes flying out, which it should because it went down into the cylinder. So we'll probably have some oil burning for a little while. So here we go. I'm going to start it up and see how it goes. the front too because the oil got spilled and went everywhere apparently that's what happened was the oil change guys spilled some oil on top of the engine and it went down inside the uh, spark plug hole the engine's running much better it's not missing anymore so that's what we needed some spark plugs and wires we're good to go thanks for watching this video and I'm gonna do more videos on different things in the future <laughs>